to talk today about some of the books that really got me moving in the direction of running 12 marathons in 12 months. And so I wanted to talk really, uh, there's, a, there's a good number of books out there, but the three that were most influential for me, um, the first one was Dick Beardsley's story. Um, Dick Beardsley is a guy from Minnesota, so I love that. Um, I actually picked this book up when I was up in Grand Marais in the, um, in the co-op up there. And uh, they had a bunch of Minnesota books and this one caught my eye. And what really connected with me about this is, um, it, if you recall, um, back in 1982, <laughs> hopefully some of you were alive back then, uh, maybe some of you weren't, but uh, he was part of the, the um, Duel in the Sun, they called it, in Boston Marathon. Um, he came within two seconds of winning. Alberto Salazar held him off right at the end. Um, and it's a great story. Check it out. I'll actually put a link below to, uh, to show the finish on that. But his book is really about how he comes back um, uh, time after time after getting into some serious injuries and even an addiction to painkillers and has really come back around from that and is just a, a, an awesome person. Uh, I've had a chance to meet him and um, if you get a chance, read his book, Dick Beardsley, Staying the Course, A Runner's Toughest Race. Um, the, the next book or actually groups of books were written by Dean Carnassus. Um, Dean, what really caught my attention was when he wrote, uh, when he ran 50 marathons in 50 days in 50 states. That was um, that was back in uh, let's see here, 2009. Uh, nope, I'm sorry, 2006 is when he actually did that. And I totally remember that um, and read all of his books. And I figured if he can run 50 marathons in 50 days, uh, I could run one a month. And that was really what kind of got me thinking about a, a huge goal like that. Uh, I've had a chance to talk with him a couple times. He actually signed my book, uh, which is awesome. I was helping out at Twin Cities Marathon uh, in 2011. And he was speaking there, and I had a chance to get him to sign my book. I told him I was running 12 and 12. He said, hey, Mike, you're a nut. I love it. Never stop, Dean. And um, one of the pieces he talked about in his um, uh, training, he did three ultras in six weeks before he ran his 50 marathons in 50 days. The other thing that really caught my attention was that he tried, he wore a, a heart rate monitor and he kept his heart rate at a 110 or lower during his 50 and 50. So he was really running in a very comfortable range for him um, and was able to recover to run another marathon the next day. Um, what kind of amazed me too was at the end of it, he said his average amount of sleep each day uh, was three to five hours. That's just crazy. Um, the other thing that really caught my attention about that is usually um, his he would race a marathon each day or a marathon distance. Um, most marathons are run on weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. And so uh, the Monday through Friday runs would be on marathon certified courses. As an example, Boston is run on a Monday uh, in April. He did this between September and November um, in 2006. So uh, he actually run the Boston Marathon course, but it wasn't during the actual Boston Marathon race. So I don't know if that makes sense for you or not, but, um, and, uh, and he would usually have, uh, dozens of people running along with him. And it was uh, something where he actually ended up with um, uh, a kind of an expo following. So it's not like he would just get in the van and, and head to the next state, next, next race. He actually hung around for hours talking with people. 
and then would move on. So it was a lot of uh, it, many things about that whole process really is amazing to me. Um, many things are amazing to me. And so I just, he has really inspired me. Um, the last one, I had an opportunity uh, to meet Marshall Ulrich, um, who is, uh, he ran across the United States. Um, I had a chance to meet him at Grandma's Marathon uh, in 2011 and uh, had him sign my book too. So I've had, uh, I, I kind of, I covet these uh, uh, personally signed books. Um, he ran across the United States, um, started in California and Los or uh, in uh, San Francisco, and ran across the U.S. to New York City, uh, from the City Hall in San Francisco to the City Hall in New York City. Basically, it was starting to run 70 miles each day uh, as he got out of the chutes. He ended up needing to go to the hospital after day like 12 or something like that because his Achilles tendon was in such pain. Um, he was actually able to run more that, later that day and continued on at a little bit slower pace. Um, he was in his 50s, late 50s. I think he was 56 when he ran these. So um, a, amazing story. Um, and again, I felt like, you know, if these guys can do this, uh, run 70 miles a day, day after day after day, cross the United States, um, run 50 marathons in 50 days. Um, I felt like I could run 12 in 12 day, uh, 12 in 12 months, uh, one a month. That seemed reasonable. Um, <laughs> once I got into it, it didn't seem as reasonable, but that's that was my thought process at least to, to get into that. So um, I'm going to share some more about my 12 and 12 coming up, but I uh, just wanted to give you an idea of the books that really inspired me uh, to get to that point. So I hope that was interesting. Uh, I'll talk to you some more later. Have a great day.